Hello internet world. Welcome to a new video on the Geekanoids channel. Uh, in today's video, I have got a really superb support for your camera. Uh, in fact, uh, this tripod was sent out to me by Vanguard for this review. I've been doing a lot of their products recently and they really do make some fantastic quality tripods. I did one of their little mini carbon fiber tripods uh, about a week ago. You must check that video out. It's very, very impressive, very lightweight. And this is the Vanguard Alta Pro 2 Plus. Uh, I think the actual model number is the 263CB100. Uh, you can check out links, in fact, to uh, this particular tripod down in the video description. And it's a really fully featured, uh, very good support for your camera, packed full of features. Uh, I want to say a big thank you, first of all, to uh, Vanguard for making this video possible. Please do check out a link to their website down in the video description. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for making this video what it is as well, because you've tuned in live. We've got Thongles, best username on YouTube. We've also got Aaron, both in the live chat. If you want to drop me any comments in the live chat or questions, please do. And if you're watching after the live broadcast, you can use the regular comment section below. So let's take a look first of all what we get inside the box with the Alta Pro 2 Plus. Uh, so we do get some instruction manual and also a little Allen key for if we need to tighten anything up. Uh, we also get a tripod bag, full length tripod bag for keeping everything uh, nice and crispy clean. Uh, and also obviously for when you're traveling. And then of course we get the tripod itself. And before I give you a closer look at this, I just want to run through some of the specifications. So in its closed format, a little bit higher than it is now, uh, it will actually close down to 739 millimeters in height. That's 29 inches. So this is by no means a travel tripod. This is a full on uh, tripod, but still quite a, a nice compact size. Uh, at its fully extended height, 1734 millimeters or 173.4 centimeters or 68.3 inches, uh, and it weighs in at 2.2 kilograms or 4.9 pounds. Uh, it's capable of actually supporting a camera up to 7 kilograms, which is 15.4 pounds. That is a big weight for a tripod to handle. It's a three section tripod. I'll give you a closer look at the twist lock legs very shortly uh, and the diameter of the legs is a really nice uh, 26 millimeters that gives it its extra sort of rigidity so very very nice uh, combination of features there and when we take a look at the other bits and pieces on the tripod in fact let's grab it down and uh, first thing I do want to point out is on the label on the box it says that it's an aluminium tripod with ball head uh, in fact the legs are carbon fiber. So we've got carbon fiber legs and then we've got some aluminium in the middle or, uh, or possibly magnesium alloy. In fact, the ball head is definitely magnesium alloy. And this is the Alta BH100 ball head. Uh, it's a magnesium alloy, it's a very lightweight construction, really durable as well. And it's got controls on it, for example, on this side for friction. Uh, and on this side, we can actually turn this so we can rotate through the full 360 degrees. Uh, full markings around here as well. And then also if we just release that ball head, we go down this way like so, we can actually release the ball head. And you can see here that you have in fact got two bubble levels. So you've got one bubble level on the side and then one on the top just here. So you can make sure when you're tightening everything down that you get everything nice and level. And then it's also got this quick release system with a built-in safety pin. Oh, doing this the wrong way. Oh, it's a bit tight. There we go, because it's brand new. So we've got a built-in built safety pin in this as well so that this little safety pin stops the head. So if the head's on, like so, put the head on, it can't fall forwards or backwards you literally you have to undo it fully and lift it up this way so a nice system for the safety of your camera as well and then of course this tightens back down to hold everything nicely in place and then we've got uh, two rubber grip sections on two of the legs so this is nice for for obviously holding 
the tripod steady. Uh, and we've also got these uh, angle adjusters here. So these pull down. So they actually help the leg locking, lock into place. So if we pull out to here, it won't go any further. It won't come out any further until we actually pull this down and then it will go at more of an angle. And then again, we can do it again and it'll go at even more of an angle, as you can see here. So you can really get this low to the ground. In fact, when you've moved this center column up, and out into the angle uh, holder, then it will actually allow you to get this down to just 23 centimeters, which I think is very good. Do you like how I did that? Let's do that once more. So you can actually get this down to 23 centimeters. Very, very uh, impressive system. Really nice quality as well. Love the quality of this, uh, these sort of rubber grips. And then we've got the uh, twist lock system here as well. So we twist to unlock. It's very, very easy. Very smooth action as well. And then we twist it back to lock it into place. And again, that lower section, because it's a three section tripod, you can obviously extend the, either one leg or both. And it, it just works really well. Very, very smooth system, very quick, because you can deploy both at the same time, of course, and extend it to its full length. Uh, and as, as I said, this goes very, very high. So nice, uh, nice sort of range of um, extension. Rubber feet on here is standard. You can get optional spikes and remove these if you want to. And then of course, we've got this system at the top here, uh, whereby we've got markings actually, let me just show you this. We've got markings for angling all of the legs. We've of course got markings for rotating the ball head. And then we've also got this angle system as well, where if we pull this top column right out, we can actually angle the head and get it in all sorts of weird angles. It's very, very impressive. Uh, and then of course we can release this center column and extend this up. And then if we extend it all the way up, then of course we can bend it down and uh, get these really weird angles. So that works very well. And everything's sort of dampened. I, I like this as well. So if you drop the center column back down, there's rubber in this yellow color just here, and that stops stops it nicely without that sort of metal on metal problem. Uh, and then of course the angle for this center column, when we pull it right out, has got the uh, degrees marked here as well. Very, very cool. Uh, also worth noting on the side here, we have got a threaded mount for attaching accessories. And then also worth noting is there's a further bubble level just here as well. It's a really solid system. Oh, let me just put this back down on the desk for a second. Uh, a really solid system, works extremely well and so superbly constructed. It's a very, very solid platform. Uh, so this uh, center column, Vanguard are calling it their multi-angle center column, MACC. And that's what you need to use to get it down to that 23 centimeter height. So you can get down really low for those macro shots. And it just creates a very, very stable platform. It's absolutely superb. Uh, the legs, also just to let you know, they go at 20 degree, 40 degree, 60 degree or 80 degree angles. So again, you've got that really good range of angles on the legs as well. Let's take a look inside the live chat. We've also got Philip McMahon in the live chat. Thanks for tuning in, Philip. I really do appreciate it. Uh, in summary, the uh, Vanguard Auto Pro 2 Plus 263CB100, I think is a, a superbly made tripod. Uh, it's obviously a full-size tripod, so I wouldn't recommend this if you're doing a lot of traveling. Uh, but if you're going from location to location, uh, maybe in a car, for example, to take those photos, or indeed you lift weights, <laughs> then, then obviously you could carry this around. But if you were like backpacking, I'd recommend one of the smaller tripods. If you were doing location-based shooting and you needed something that's still reasonably lightweight and in fact very light for the size of the tripod then I'd certainly recommend this because it gives you such a stable platform. The ball head as well is really well engineered. That BH100 ball head is, is top notch. It really is. Very, very impressive indeed. That's it for this video. If you are looking for a really decent tripod then check out the links down in the video description. Also check out the Vanguard website for their full range of tripods. Uh, well worth checking out. They also do camera bags as well and other accessories. So please do check out that link. And if you enjoyed the video, 
Don't forget to hit that like button and share a cheeky link to the video as well on your social media. Uh, the Geek and Noise community is continually growing and uh, it's really great to get more people watching the videos and also commenting on the videos as well. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day ahead and I'll see you in another video very soon.